This reaction is brought to you by my $5 or more patrons at patreon.com slash Alex Haggis. I would like to thank Identitech, TFG, William Myatt, Steve Aldersley, Kurt David, Jason Bass, at Video 69 on Twitter. I checked it. It's okay. Mason Frost, Matthew McLaughlin, Andres Glacel, Biff C, B Jabber, and Joey Enough for sponsoring this video, supporting me, my family, the channel, encouraging all these videos to continue forward. Thank you all so much. I hope you enjoy the reaction. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another album reaction, another emergency reaction, because it's a new Coldplay album. Uh, for those of you who don't know, either new to the channel, new to me, just whatever, Coldplay uh, was one of my favorite bands. Uh, Parachutes, their first album, still my favorite album for personal reasons. Um, but the band has been kind of hit and miss for me over the years. Um, I think they started strong, uh, and they've gotten weaker and spottier. Um, I... Last album from them I, I enjoyed to some more or less great degree was Everyday Life. Then before that, a little bit of MX. Um, so I did a reaction to Everyday Life on this channel. You can check it out. If you're on YouTube, I'll link it up here somewhere. Um, um, and like I here's my ratings, my current ratings on RYM for, for the album. Um, as you can see... Uh, I just think it's kind of like middle of the road. Uh, some of my favorite tracks are Daddy and uh, Bonnie Adam, or Human Being, as it's kind of called. It's a, what was that, Arabic? I'm not sure. Um, that there's just like, it, it's a very inconsistent album to me. Um, oh, also Arabesque, sorry. I think that's a fantastic track too. Um, but it's just a little bit inconsistent to me, and uh, it didn't really have staying power. I haven't come back to many of those tracks, because uh, the album felt kind of sterile. Um, there's just something about it that just kind of lacked life. Um, but I was thankful that it was at least like a little bit more of like an art pop direction, kind of like what they were doing with Viva La Vida. Um, so that made me happy. Um, I've also done like so many other Coldplay related things on this channel, covers, tutorials for how to play songs on instruments. I've done like a history of Coldplay video right here. I'll link that in YouTube as well. Um, where I just kind of go through like all the albums and like talk about uh, my favorite songs and things like that. So Coldplay were one of my, you know, baby's first art rock band as, as some call it. And that was the case for me. And uh, they still hold a special place in my heart, even though I don't really listen to them much at all anymore. Um, but today we are going to be doing Music of the Spheres. Uh, their latest album, 41 Minutes, uh, got a little bit of maybe like a space rock vibe going on here, obviously. Um, 12 tracks. I've heard Higher Power. Uh, I have purposefully avoided the other singles, Coloratura and My Universe, um, because I wanted to save them for this reaction. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not super excited <laughs> because... <laughs> After listening to Higher Power, I'm like, oh no, they're going back to the Head Full of Dreams sound a little bit. Very sugary, saccharin pop. Um, I like the synth, though. The synth was not too bad on, on Higher Power. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, it, they seem to be going in a much more like mainstream pop direction again, which is not my favorite Coldplay, I have to say that much. Um, so I think we're just going to dive right on in. Um, a quick note for those of you who don't know, um, I do unedited reactions uh, on patreon.com uh, slash Alex Hines. If you don't over there, 10 bucks a month will get you access to this and about 11 previous reactions unedited. Um, and then a dollar a month will, uh, if you want to just support the channel, be able to vote in polls as to which albums I react to next. So head on over there if you would like to support the channel and see this uh, reaction unedited. So, Music of the Spheres. Um, we're just going to start with the opening track, which is uh, just 53 seconds long. Uh, let's go. Music of the just one synth build up to higher power, huh? Oh. Well, let's just go right into higher power. Singing every second with electric and you sparkle in light. The universe connected. I'm buzzing. Night after night. You've got, yeah, you got a higher. You've got, oh, you've got a higher power. You come singing every second. Dancing every hour. I've been down on my knees to your love song. For 
Well, there you go. <clears throat> yeah, when this came out, I rated it on RYM and I gave it like a two out of five. Um, it, like it's not awful, but it's it's subpar, I guess you could say. It's like I wouldn't necessarily like roll my eyes if it came on because it's like the the synth is produced nice and there's actually kind of like a little bit of a depth and fuzziness to it. Um, it's just the it's the tone. And the the depth of the lyrics. It's like, I, I know that Chris can write interesting lyrics. But it's like, when you say, I'm like a broken record, it's like every pop song has sung that at some... Like, every pop artist has sung that at some point. Uh, but whatever. Whatever. The acoustic version is superior, in my opinion, as well. Gives it just a little bit more uh, life, I guess. Uh, spice. All right, Humankind, next track. Have not heard this. Let's go. Jump. and the vocal melody were actually the worst part. Uh, I thought the instrumental was kind of fine, actually. Nice, catchy guitar riff. Uh, the production is... It's clean and glossy, but um, there's some interesting aspects to it here and there. Uh, do I, li- I like that about as much as Higher Power. Maybe a little bit more, because I find the instrumental a little more interesting. Uh, okay, another interlude, 53 seconds. Uh stylized as stars, but it's technically called Alien Choir. Thank you, John Hopkins. Uh, Okay, next one, Let Somebody Go with Selena Gomez. That a kind of love I thought that it would never end. my friend do do we talked around in serve everything this golden glow now turn to let somebody go just feels derivative um not the worst thing i've ever heard but it's just uninteresting you know there's some nice little cold play sparkles in there you know adding in 
extra instruments to kind of fluffen up and liven up the mix. But I don't know. Of all the slower ballad type tracks from Coldplay, that's one of the weakest I've heard so far. But that's okay, because we're going to go to Human Heart with We Are King and Jacob Collier. I actually heard this during, uh, like, Glastonbury or whatever it was. I'm remembering now. Well, it's interesting. <laughs> uh, more of that like midnight, uh, was it vocoder or auto-tune? I don't know exactly what, what they did for midnight, but very similar thing happening there. It's fine. Just a little, uh, you know, it's a problem with acapella stuff is that it, uh, I don't find it super interesting, but fine, fine. All right, people of the pride, let's keep going. <laughs> This is an old, like, Viva demo. <laughs> it's gotten... Wow, I can't believe it. A Viva demo has been resurrected. I hold out hope for Bloodless Revolution. There's a man who takes his time From his only cuckoo clouds Be an anthem for your times It's just one Believe me Still my beating heart Will all be free You know, I know that Coldplay can make a good rock song. I know they can. I've uh, God put a smile upon your face live, like during the MX tour. I think they still kind of play it like that. I'm not sure. I haven't seen anything more recent, but like that, they go hard on that song. Um, and like they they have rock chops. Um, they don't often lean in that direction, but this was like. Pardon the expression, the most cock rock thing. Like that that's that stupid blues do doom do doom 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 doom. Like it's done to death so much, and I can't believe they've done it here. But it was cool to see a Viva demo resurrected. That was interesting. I'll give him credit for that. Beautiful. All I knew. Uh -oh. Um, I kind of liked it. <laughs> it, um, it had one of the best melodies so far. Like that's classic catchy Coldplay right there. 
but at the same time, it's like that would have just been like a, a mediocre, decent song on uh, Head Full of Dreams. Um, but it's one of the better ones here so far, I think. Um, it's at least kind of interesting and not just like mind-numbingly boring. Okay, uh, next one, uh, Music of the Spheres 2, another interlude. All right. My Universe with BTS. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard a K-pop song before in full. Um, oh boy, I, let's, let's just go. It's not as bad as my face made it look. <laughs> it uh, it's just like okay, Justin Bieber boy band sound. This is the same band that wrote Arabesque two years ago. The same band that wrote Violet Hill. Chinese sleep chant. Oh, to deodorant. You know, you know how it goes. It's it's whatever. Um, some of the production was interesting. Different styles in there, but not for me. <laughs> not for me at all. Uh, I'm just excited to get to the last track because that's apparently one of their best tracks in years. And it's ranked 54 in singles for this year on RYM. So let's keep going. Uh, penultimate track, Infinity Sign. That's the Don Quixote. What was that Don Quixote? Hold on. Hold on. Don Quixote. Is that it? Because that's how it starts. They, 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 they do the... Oh, they, oh, they, oh, they. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. the same chords <sighs> kind of sad that Don Quixote got relegated to just the the basic like climax at the end, but then like dumbed down or like dulled down to an ambient kind of like in interlude track. I mean, that wasn't bad. That was definitely like one of the more interesting tracks on the album so far. That's not like just straight up pop. I, li I like when they toy with ambient stuff, like some of the things they did on ghost stories. Um, but, uh, I don't know. If you haven't heard Don Quixote, go check it out. It was a great, uh, like not demo, but just like unreleased track that they were toying with, I think, around the Viva era. Uh, and they played it, I think, just once. But uh, there's a few recordings on YouTube, and it's uh, just a nice little uh, Viva-esque track, I guess. I don't know. All right, Coloratura. Final one. Excited to get to this. Supposed to be pretty good. Let's go.
And there it is, Coloratura. Um, it is the best song on the album, for certain. Uh, it's not great, though. I don't know. I feel like it's a little overhyped, or maybe I'm just missing something. Because, yes, it was progressive. Yes, it had space rock elements to it, uh, symphonic rock. But uh, it's just, like, musically a bit bland. I think it, it, it didn't like the, the structure of the phrases didn't really grab me in. It just kind of felt like it was happening and I was listening to it. Um, yeah. So music of the spheres, I don't like it. <laughs> I want you guys to let me know what you think about it. Um, but for me personally, Coldplay fan of a, over a decade at this point, um, I'm a bit let down. I'm a bit let down. Tracks I did enjoy to some degree, beautiful, infinity sign, coloratura. That's about all. Um, People of the Pride, Let Somebody Go, My Universe. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying my best here. Uh, Human Heart and Higher Power, fine. But... Uh, I'm, I'm, I want to see them try more of the coloratura stuff though, because I, it gave me flashbacks to like Russia blood to the head era where they were like, they opened with politic, you know, and it felt, it felt like they were reaching for a similar kind of thing with coloratura. Um, and it also reminded me a lot of moving to Mars, which I think is a far superior space rock track, uh, that came out on like an EP during the MX era. Uh, so check out Moving to Mars if you haven't heard it before. I think it's a actually a better track than Color Tour, if I may be so bold. So there is the reaction, everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you're not subscribed already, uh, please do, because I usually do a follow-up to these albums a uh, week, several weeks after I listen to it, give an update on how all the dust has settled and my final thoughts on the tracks. Um, yeah, so things to plug. Uh, Patreon.com slash Hogsites again. Head on over there if you'd like to support the channel. Dollar a month is all you need to get access to polls that we do every two to three albums. Um, and people can vote for which album I listen to. Also, uh, the Discord. Link in the description for that. We're almost at 150 members. Lots of fun over there. Music recommendations, discussions, arguments, debates. Lots of fun stuff. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell, all that stuff everyone tells you to do. And that's all I got. Until next time, everybody, Godspeed. <laughs>